It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. All right. What else we got, Michael? Any Anything where you're like, oh, dude, we got to talk about this thing that uh, we got to talk about? No. I mean, you said these were between 45 minutes and an hour, so I'm honored to go for you know almost an hour and a half. That's amazing. Where the hell are we at? I haven't been watching the clock. I had my phone in front of my clock, so I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. I mean, I'll just, one of my favorite things to say is employee, it's like people listening to this are clearly entrepreneurs. They're people that own their own business. And one of the things in a mindset of an employee is I trade my time for dollars. I go in, I punch in, I punch out and I, I make a paycheck and it's amazing for some people. Uh, and they make a really good living. Um, entrepreneurs have a different mindset. We trade our time for uh, our dollars for time. I invest my money to buy back my time. And so many entrepreneurs, every service industry have different metrics, but exterior cleaning is there's points in time where you get stuck. I'm not sure where you started in the business, Dan, but you know, you're the technician, you're in the field, you're doing everything, you're doing it all. And you're like, I can't do anything else. And some people just stay there. Um, Brandon Vaughn's dad, like 20 some years cleaning windows, like it was this thing, he couldn't break through. And so you get to these barriers and each step you take costs more money. And As you ascend, you're like, okay, can't do this anymore. Got to hire techs. Got to pay the techs, which means you're going to make less money. And so you invest your t- your your money to buy back your time and find your find your why. Find the reason you're doing all of this. And it's okay to build a team. And one of my favorite podcasts ever, and it sounds really dumb to say this, is Josh Latimer's first ever podcast. Literally the first one, Chris Lambertini's. I don't remember the exact story as it goes, but he was running a seven figure exterior cleaning company in New Jersey. I think he was living in his mom's basement. I th- he was definitely living like well below his means and bringing peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to work every day. But he did that because he kept reinvesting, 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 reinvesting his, his money to buy back his time. And now he posted a video for like the huge convention which he runs and he's got his white Tesla with the white interior. And it's like, you do that for long enough and you invest your, your money to buy back your time. And now you've got both. Now you've got money and time. So mm-hmm. don't be afraid to take chances and live live below your means. And so many people I work with, they get to 500,000. They're like, great, we can send our kids to private school. They get to 700,000. Oh, we can buy the half a million dollar house now. And now you're stuck being the jack of all trades, running ops, running everything else because you can't invest in the business anymore because the next step, your ops manager is going to cost you 60 grand, can't afford it because now I'm there. So you're tapped. Yeah. And when you crash, if a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar business crashes because internal, external, whatever it is, it's okay. If you're doing five, six hundred thousand dollars and you crash, it's catastrophic. So live below your means, reinvest your money, and invest in yourself. Kind of what we talked about earlier, full circle now, to know that you can do this. And um, I got to tell this story too. My favorite um, conquerors, I'm not going to give their names, I'll just kind of tell their story. Two years ago, guy was homeless, had a mattress in the back of his truck here in San Diego, um, met his now wife. And the first thing she ever bought him was a um, a ladder so he could clean second story windows. And uh, they joined Conquer in right before COVID in March and literally two weeks before COVID. And they said, this is our last thousand dollars. We're joining and we, this is it. And I was like, well, let's do it. Um, they did $95,000 in sales in 2019. They did over $100,000 in uh, 2020 in November. In November, one wow. month. Yeah. So oh, yeah. invest in yourself, do something for yourself and nothing is the only thing holding you back is what's in between your ears. That's it. Yeah, I'm still Remind trying yourself. to calculate the growth rate on $95,000 last year and a hundred thousand dollars last month. Yeah. If they, if they posted in conquer their story, it's amazing. It's crazy. Um, and it's like, that's why I wake up every day and do what I do is to just help people defeat those self-limiting beliefs and to watch that. Like that's like, I have so much happiness for them because of what they've done. So trust in yourself, believe in yourself, live below your means and be able to reinvest in the business. They bought three trucks. They had to buy three trucks this year. They had one, like it was the owner's vehicle he was taking out to customer's homes. They rebranded, they got the logos, the three wrap vehicles, like it's amazing. 